Morning everybody. Right, so yeah, uh, just setting up the shed here and we'll go get some cows in. So I don't know if you can see there but the vet cross line is up, like really up, it's probably up there that much on the vats. So that's really good. Uh, right, put the apron out there. And then now uh, we'll go get some cows in. So Good morning, ladies. Oh, yes. <laughs> and we're out of here. Good girl. Hello, Charlie. Hey, good girl. All right, that I'll see you all up at the cow shed. Hey, 129. Hey, 181, how are ya? My girls push her up. Oh yes, everyone wants a pet, no one wants to go in the yard, come on. Come on, Jamie. Hey, Jamie. Just gotta watch the heifers around here. The heifers all uh, bolt if they see the gap. She can see the gap, but she's obviously bolted before. Come on, Jamie. Hey, go smell a little coffee. Come on, Jamie. Push, come on. <laughs> come on girls, up up, come on Come on Come on Whoosh, come on girls, there he is Cupping away in there Come on girls, up up It looks like that, they're all in the yard why are we closing them up here rather than at the start of the yard here? Because when we get to mating, if you've been closing them at the start of the yard, they get used to it and makes it really hard to get them into the rest of the yard. And also, we want them to be leaving this gate at the moment so that they know that they can get out that way and they're more likely to come in here because this is where we'll start putting those um, bullying cows. Yeah, what a dad. Ooh, we'll get away there, the can's getting full. That was a slow cut row too. Jeepers. Just waiting on the slow girl here and she'll be done soon enough, eventually. Can't empty out. Always that right back corner is a little bit slower, but books out. Better to book her out properly. They have trouble with her at night. Girls are booking well. Well, I say they're always booking well. To the side. And we have some news. The new cups are going in either Monday or Tuesday next week. The uh, uh, milk machine company is coming in and we're going to give them a hand that day. I'll see if I can record the Monday or Tuesday. He's just finished feeding the babies and the uh he's got the cafeteria on to feed the older ones. Come on, you lot. You ten. Whoa! Come on. Race you over there. there. He is feeding his calves and he's got a bag of meal for them. Big pellets. And just feeding these calves there. Look. They've still got some meal left in their trough, probably about a quarter of a bag. If that, <laughs> that BS. So, um, change of plan. We're going to go get some fert this morning and then shoot up to Granddad's. Dad will be up there starting to feed his cattle. And while Dad's spreading, I'll finish feeding Granddad's cattle. And then we'll get into um, winding up fences where it's shorting the worst. Morning. All go here. And the meal's in the trough. Washed and clean. Yeah, he's very happy with his little trough arm. Does a great job as a pin. Couple, couple more feeds to go and it's finished for the year. Yeah, not many more feeds for it left. Right, I'm off to go feed the calves. Dad's headed down to go check the heifers, see if any have calved. Jeez. 
Show you how slippery it is there. Right. Well, look, cows lay well around it. So we're heading now. Girls are in there, break, happy. They got enough grass, they got a bit of back grazing to do as well. If they want some more. They got heaps down there though. Right. Let's go. Well, the cows have their meal. We'll leave them to it. They are finishing it all, so works out to get about a kilo and a half in. We have a bit of a drive. had a change of plan uh, turns out there's too much rain coming um, so it'll just wash all that fur off the hills so I'll put the bonnet back up and uh, we're still headed up to Granite to go feed out for three days in advance and then uh, for today and then Saturday Sunday but then we're also uh, gonna wind up that fence still so, so we just check the chart it looks like it's gonna be about 120 mils on this weekend including Monday they are hungry Get a little sookies. Chicken happy as. Gave me some pellets. Dad refilled their water. <laughs> and uh, now we're headed up to Granddad's. Yeah, milk, and then they'll go have a drink of water and meal, then to the paddock. Yeah, way up that top corner yesterday. Oh, up there. Yeah, way up the top. That's good. Means they're exploring. These fellas are looking good. These are going to the cattle fair. When's Pointed that? Them. I'm going to the cattle fair on the 5th of October in Pyro. Yep, it'll be those nice ones there will be going. 40 of the best. Yep. The little fellas, they'll stay on. We've got the tractor ready. What we will do. We're grabbing two bales of silage. Right? We're setting up paddocks, they Yeah, it's meant to be raining this week coming, so. Good grass growing now. Whew. It's good. Load it up, here he comes. Where are your calves, Granny? We're getting back. At the furthest paddock? Over, just over the hill from where he is. Oh, yeah, on the other side of that hill. Ah, fair enough. Here he comes. Beating out these two paddocks, this one and the next one on the left there. Feeding up here now while we can. Because there's another rain coming. Won't be able to feed up here again. Not for a while. Feed now for four days. This one, the next one, then there's another one over the other side of the hill, and then the one just above that tree there. That's three days, four days worth, eh, hey, Granddad? Yeah. So you're back on Tuesday. Some good grass now. Woohoo! Yeah. Setting up the paddock. Reload, bell number two. We're going to meet him at the side. Another two bales. Granny's going to go get his little carvies. And the horse heifers, as I say now. The yearlings. And me and Dad are going to go feed these next two bales. It's only feeding uh, one bale a day now. granny has got a bit of grass up here now. Just in time for the rain. These things are coming into this paddock. We'll carry on. Get yeah, off the feed out and we'll reload them. And go in the paddock next door, directly opposite this one. Let's fit out that pile of silage in there. Last bale. Oh, and his car's got spooked by something. Something, something spooking the little calves down there. Let's find out.
find out what it is. There goes Dad. They're all done. Feed out. Let's go fix this feed. There they come. Full of energy. It's dancing. Not very hungry, but starting to lose a picture. Yep. Ready for mating. Yeah. It's all it needs along here. Ow. Slowly working our way along. Right, okay. Go. Going down here. Long here. And just making sure that we've got enough. Yeah. <laughs> Slowly winding up. So far, so good. The wire's getting wound up. Sort out these lot of meters to go. Not much more to go. Just to the corner down there. Almost. There we go. It's nice and sorted, eh, Granted? Tess is gonna. Hey, Tessa! Just gonna tighten that wire over there. That's perfect. Perfect. That's how we want it. Just a single hot wire. As you'll see here. That just stops it, um. Stops them from trying to go under it, but they can graze underneath the fence now, all the way along. Over there, just tighten that wires over there. there you right, with that, we're all sorted. We'll, um, we're going to do some more fencing next time we come up because uh, there's a wire on the other side of those trees just there. They, uh, that needs a fix up too. So it's awesome. Single hot wire all the way through. The calves, they won't try it. they got all this grass here and they'll just graze underneath the fence happily. Quick tighten up. Perfect. Now our granddad's got some extra wires for the um, for his place up here. And uh, yeah, perfect. It went well. We had to wind up four wires all the way along that drain. Pretty quick. With that, uh, we're going to go get two bales of silage, bring them back, put them on the trailer here, strap it down, and we'll um, call it a day there. Sorted. I got all the wire put away and all cleaned up. There's old girl, gears and everything. <laughs> Four gears, high, low, forward back. It's pretty easy, pretty simple. Pop out the tractor. Granddad um, left the gate open where the calves were, so I thought I'd go down here and grab the silage. Yeah, so that's Go. 
go up that hill. Pretty easy, pretty simple enough. She used to do all the work down on the farm. She used to chop the maize with a single row chopper and used to feed out when Dad first started there. Now she's up here and retired. Oh, backwards. Strap this down and um, go and have a cup of tea with Nana and Granny. All strapped down. So why are we strapping down? You know it's not going to bounce off. Well, keeps the followers of the pretty little lights on their vehicles happy. So that keeps them happy. That's the way. <laughs> Got to be done. With that, I'll see you all at milking tonight. Good afternoon. So, just had a little had tank arrived this morning while we were at Granddad. We said 5923, so up 400 litres on yesterday, which is incredible, really. So, just shows you the girls a whole lot. Yeah, let's next year we do milk solids wise because yesterday we said 55. That milk solids was still basically down three, even though we we're down 200 litres. So even though we dropped 200 litres, we still had that picked up a bit in the quality. So it's going to be interesting to see what happens to this one. The quality will probably drop down, but we'll have more in it anyways. Here comes the ladies. Let's get to it. Yeah, that's where they were today. And uh, that's where they were two days ago. A lot of, lot of regrowth starting to happen. just let them go and uh, the old girl knows where she's going she just ran off real quick they're not going far they? got my weekend off this weekend so just put them nice and close it's a good idea and they've just gone into the back they're in the club tank paddock tonight Up that. Let's keep washing. Nice and close tonight. And no silence required. They're all pretty, uh, pretty good tonight. Lots of grass. Those two paddocks. I left this one first. Does it have a double up otherwise? It's a little heifer. But she loves me also. We'll let her have a bit. Come on. That was a rinse cycle just went through. So we're going to put our alkali and our rinse cycle again. Dad's just in the middle of washing up. And wash up. Um, let's pick it up this rope. Yeah, all the cups are going. you got to make sure they're all going. End up not getting it. You get rotten milk left in the line. Or milk left in the line and that's it. Ooh. Get, uh, get a good grade then. Yeah, it's going to go lock the cows away. He's got to go check your heifer. Looks like one's carved down there. Carving. I will hang these jetters up get to feeding those five little calves then we'll go feed the calves behind the red behind the red shed their meal and same with the calves behind the house it's a meal no silage tonight because we've got enough grass they're leaving a bit of grass behind which is great to see finally might get some uh put some good milk in the van again There's those calves having a drink over there and we got a uh, sickly here he needs a drink too got two litres of electrolytes. 
got a touch of the squares, Dad was saying, so we'll keep an eye on them. Give them a couple of days of electrolytes and put them back on milk. Come on, one. Carvies are full and happy. And we're going to go and unload Dad's trailer. It has two bars of silage on it that we put on it today. Yeah, we'll put them by this Fiji tree here, so if Dad does want to feed out some silage this weekend, he's got those four bales there that he knows he wants to feed out first. Okay, let's unload it. Dad's just gone to go feed the uh, little calves around my house and those uh, little calves drink really well tonight. Even a little sickly who's got his electrolytes. Better to preemptive strike him with the electrolytes than uh, leave him to get real sick. Dad said there is a calf down there for tomorrow. So I'll be down to go give him a hand in the morning to feed calves and that. But I've got the weekend off so I'll just do help and come down with the feed calves that so nothing too entertaining so that like and subscribe and i'll see you all monday morning awesome. thank you